Welcome back to another episode guys. I'm your host Christian for OPH Outdoors and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I just got home from work. I'm about to change. I'm grabbing some of my cold weather gear from my uh, fishing storage area at my house right now and it's 32 degrees out. Um, me and Skylar are going with my neighbor out um, fly fishing for trout and I figured it'd be a cool video to come up with a catch cook video. So we're going to be out there. We're going to be fly fishing for trout. Hopefully we get a few um, good trout if not at least hopefully we'll get one so we can do this video and yeah so we're gonna get out there we're gonna get some trout and we're gonna fillet them bring them back home and i'm gonna show you guys everything about catching the trout cooking it the exact recipe and it should be really good so we'll see you guys out there on the creek Oh, right here in front of me, there's like 30. I had one on and then I pulled it out too fast before he fully had it. Seeing any over there? Dude, back there at the first spot, I saw like, I swear like 30 fish right there around me. I just couldn't get any of them to bite. What? Did he get one? I'm coming. <laughs> oh. How big? <laughs> we can keep it then. Yeah. All right, pull it. Uh, it's not really. Oh, we'll keep it. You want to keep this one? All right, sweet. Do you want to get a picture? Yeah, I want to get a picture. Nice, that looks nice like a rainbow. One. It's a rainbow? I don't know. It looks like a rainbow to me. This may be one of those. Like this blue, may be one of those mix. That's like a bluish. But there you guys go. That's actually a nice one. That's probably about a two pounder. So we're gonna get a picture of this, and uh, it's gonna be dinner tonight. I'm thinking about moving back down that way a little bit. Maybe back down towards where you caught yours because there were a bunch right there. I think we're about done. We're uh, walking back so we can get in the car now. Um, I didn't catch any, it was tough, but Skylar caught one at least, and I think you guys saw that earlier in the video. So, we got that, we're gonna go back, we're gonna fillet it up, and then we're gonna head home and get to the kitchen. We're gonna uh, make a, babe, or a maple balsamic trout. So, we'll uh, see you guys probably back home. There's a lot of guys in the cabin, so I'm not sure if I can film it when uh, filleting it. So, we'll see you then. All right guys, so we just got home. We've got the trout off laid right here. Did that there, but I didn't want to video it because there was a lot of people in the cabin when I was there. So now we're gonna go through the recipe on how we're gonna make it. We're gonna make a balsamic maple trout. So like I said, we got the trout here, right over here. We've got all the sauces right here, or everything we're gonna mix together, the seasoning and the sauces for the actual um, sauce that's gonna be on top of the trout. We're melting some butter in a pan right here, and I'm gonna go through step by step what I'm adding into the pan as I cook it. Then we're gonna make some rice to put underneath the trout and the sauce. So we're gonna go through each one of that. So let's get started with the trout first. All right, so first we're gonna add all the seasoning to the actual trout. So we'll start off with just some regular salt. Just gonna sprinkle some on every piece. Not too much salt because one of the later seasonings has um, some salt in it. And then we'll get black pepper. We're going to do all one side first, and then we'll work on the other side. So the other seasoning, seasoning we usually use is out, so instead we're going to use a garlic powder instead. So then you just take this, just sprinkle a little bit of garlic over it. 
and then we are going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So I'm going to do that and then I'll see you guys over at the pan. So next we are going to start adding everything to the pan. So we've just got a pan on the flat top here and we've melted half of a stick of butter in here so far. And to that we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Not too much. And then we are also going to add some white cooking wine. try and kind of give it that a little bit more flavor. From there, the trout already has salt and pepper on it. So we've got some garlic. We're just gonna crush some garlic. We've got the butter. We have a little bit of olive oil and some white wine on it. And we'll just let that sit there for a second on a medium heat. And you'll let just all those things melt together. So then the flavor from the garlic gets in with the butter and that the white wine kind of mixes into it just to get better flavor into what you're gonna be cooking all your trout with. So next step is gonna be adding the trout onto the pan here in a minute. We'll let this heat up, but first while we're waiting on this to heat up, let's get into making the sauce for the trout. So now we're gonna mix everything up for the sauce. So to start off, I believe we have one and a half tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And then we have one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. We have, oh, that's lemon. This is lemon. So we've got one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we have half a tablespoon of sriracha sauce. And then, I forget what this is. It says it in the recipe what it is, but I forget honestly what that was. So there we go. So then we're gonna mix all that together real quick. Oh yeah, that is olive oil. That's olive oil, so. Gonna mix it together until it's pretty well mixed. And you'll take a little bit, put it in with this cornstarch. And then, build up the cornstarch into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. And we just stir a little bit to let it thicken up a tiny bit. Which it won't make it too thick compared to the others. It'll just add a little bit of thickness to it. And that is pretty much all of the sauce that's gonna be going on your, the um, balsamic maple trout, so. Now that this is done, let's get into making the actual trout. So now we're gonna be working on the fish. We've let the garlic, um, white wine, olive oil, and butter all mix in together. So then now we are gonna pretty much pan sear this fish. We've got a little bit, there's a little bit more um, butter and oil in here than to actually pan sear it. So it might get a little bit of a crispy crust to it, but we've got it seasoned. And now we're gonna go ahead and just lay it down. One tip, always lay it down away from you so that if it splashes, it doesn't splash on you. And you don't want to over stack the pan with your fish. So we're going to add one more piece for now, a pretty skinny piece. And then we'll make the other here in a minute. So we're going to let this cook, I would say, I don't know, two minutes and then we'll flip it for two minutes. And because it's pretty hot right now, that should probably be good to cook it all the way through. So yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna let this cook for two minutes and we're gonna flip it and we'll uh, show you what we're flipping. So it's been two minutes now and the fish, it looks to be cooking really good. So we are gonna go and we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And it's got a nice, it's still nice and tender on the side and you can already actually tell it's flaking apart already. And you just want that crisp on the outside. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to make it tough. You just want to give a little bit of crisp while still getting that flake to it. So now we're going to let that sit in for about another two minutes. And then we're going to take that off, throw in the other pieces, and pretty much we'll catch you when we're uh, completely done with everything and we're putting on the plate mix. So we'll see you then. Okay, so the fish is done. We got the rice done and we got the rice on the plate. So then we'll just take the fish and we'll just lay it over top. 
of the rice. I'll get this up there with about the same amount. Oops. <laughs> So there it is, there's the fish on top of the rice. After that is done, we will take the sauce that we prepared earlier. You don't want too much. So just drizzle some, some of the sauce on it. sauce on it, you've got the rice and everything under it, and then you'll just take a little bit of basil and put sprinkle the basil over top. And there you go. That is your balsamic um, maple rainbow, well actually in this case brown trout. So it's really supposed to be for rainbow trout, but we only caught a brown trout today. So we figured we'd try it with that. We tried dipping the fish in the sauce right when we first made it to know if we had to um, make or change anything in the sauce and it was really good so we we're looking forward to eating this for dinner tonight so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did let me know and we'll do more catching cooks this summer and spring so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video